questions? Back when you guard, you win. Tonight against the hot team. Looks like maybe you got some success. We'll talk about the court again. But uh, yeah, I was I was happy with the defensive uh, intensity, especially in that second quarter. You know, I thought that was maybe the best uh, defensive quarter we've had all year in terms of uh, pressure and um, you know just making a, an offense uncomfortable. You know, breaking the rhythm. Uh, forcing turnovers, uh, creating an offense with our defense, and um, you know we got a little, little fatigued from it in this in the second half, but uh, you know overall a strong performance. Uh, Monte Ellis seemed to be uh, on it throughout, er, very early on throughout the game. Um, any differences that you've seen with him? Probably, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I think uh, he's getting the ball a little bit more. He's being a little more aggressive. I think he recognizes that Paul's struggling a little bit right now. And, um, you know, wants to carry uh, – just just take a little bit of pressure off him, you know, and try to try to carry some of the scoring load and make things a little easier out there. And, uh, you know, if Paul's struggling, we need other guys to step up. So, um, you know, credit, from, credit Monte for playing a heck of a game. Did you go with uh, Solomon tonight because Glenn played 40 minutes last night in Fort Wayne? No. Uh, I, I do – I kind of, you know, if I need a two guard, I kind of view Glenn as a two. Um, and if, you know, if Rodney or George Amante there out, he'll get minutes there. Um, or a three, if, you know, if Chase is out, Chase or Paul. But, um, you know, if I if I want to play a, a spread four in terms of defensive coverages, uh, Glenn and, and, and Chase haven't spent a lot of time defensively there with, with some of the uh, coverages guarding the big guys. So, um, you know, if C.J. Miles was out, we'll go solo.